never really had a permanent home. We were moving from home to home. My mum didn't have a lot of support around her and we did get evicted from one home um, because we didn't have enough money to pay rent. So we did end up living in two homeless shelters. We had quite a lot of weekends where we only had one bit of food in the house to feed three people. This is where I used to live from when I was born to when I was about 14 years old. This was my parents' house. When I left here, like everything went downhill. That was my bedroom. This is exactly the spot where I probably started smoking, where I was getting in the most trouble with the police, being outside, selling and stuff. Uh, 13, 14, it started getting a bit more violent, a bit more, uh, a bit more arguments and stuff between the parents, more problems going out, staying out late. Um, and I eventually got kicked out of my house. I was staying here for about three, four nights by myself in the dark. Very, very lonely. Exactly right here. Um, it was very, very scary. Can you get animals, foxes, all running around you, sitting next to you like you're one of them? It's very intimidating. You get loads of people walking around on that night and they're all drunk or they're all up to no good. This is the hostel where we used to live. I think they've always said that I've been depressed, even before I came to end. I came to live here. Their doctors had been telling us I was depressed and stuff like that. But obviously, they've given us tablets before and I've never taken them when they've given us them. I didn't feel at the time that I needed to take them. I didn't feel like I was depressed. I think sometimes I think that's just the easy way for them to deal with somebody that is upset and is asking for help. This is basically my uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, yeah? I smoke probably... I buy 10 packets of cigarettes a day. Probably more cannabis. Um, I'm a first drinker, eight years old. And I was actually um, 11 years old when I had my first spliff. Quite a lot of people I know that do smoke cannabis. I find it calms me down. Nine months ago I had alcohol problems as well. It was only the beginning of this year when I realised that I can actually physically get help off someone for anger management. I found out when I was 13 or 14 that I had a hole in my heart. I was very scared about it. Uh thinking, like, wow, well, how long am I really going to live, like, with a hole in my heart? Since I've actually had to take medication, I think I've taken one course of tablets, which was four weeks. I took that course. I felt absolutely fine after that. But I stopped taking my tablets, and I think that it's actually opened back up again, which is why I need to go to the hospital again to get more tablets to close my heart up. I do try and make an appointment, but I always end up missing them. You know, I keep forgetting about them or I won't come in the night before. I have to keep going up to the doctors every week to go and pick up a new prescription and it just seems very long to me. A lot of money wasted, jumping on the buses. It's a lot of money, £2.20 now. When I was moving from one house to another, I just started getting settled down to one doctor's and then having to switch to another straight away to get used to another one. It was a bit confusing because I was only little, so I didn't really understand why. When the argument started between me and my mum, I wasn't really very close to my sister, and I did feel the only way I could cope with the stress and with the, um, the pressure that I was under from my mum was to self-harm. When my heart starts hurting, it feels like it's being squeezed, like you can't, you can't do nothing, you can't walk, you can't do nothing, you just stick there like this, like... It happens at least once every couple of weeks. Basically, when it starts hurting, fucking hell, it doesn't stop. I take, like, paracetamol, ibuprofen, any kind of painkiller, just stops my chest from hurting. You take enough tablets to, to make you feel good about yourself, thinking, oh, yeah, I've taken tablets now, I'm not going to be ill. Adults and children over 12 years old, one to two tablets, oh, it's not even four tablets, one to two tablets every four hours. And I've taken six in 10 seconds.
Kylie has an enlarged liver and spleen and she gets pains in her legs and stomach which sometimes prevent her from walking long distances, climbing lots of stairs, picking things up and also suffers periods of extreme tiredness. Kerry takes painkillers every day along with her other medication. Kerry has also been diagnosed with depression, partly caused by her current physical condition. I was a bit worried. I'd had sex with three girls in one week. So I came down and had a checkup. I got all the tests back uh, this week. Uh, thank God it came back all negative. Why do you want children so young? Because I know it could be a good father, and I know my, I know my fiance could be a good. So I, 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 you know, I, I agree. With and I've, 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 I've kids for you. I've, I've been wanting kids for years. I agree that that you would make a good. I've been wanting kids yeah. for years as well. I know, but you've got what you've got to do first is sort yourself out. I haven't self harmed since I moved in. The one thing that did make us stop was being part of support and lodgings. I don't f feel under any pressure when I'm living here. Even when I was really poorly, I always, always knew that this wasn't what I wanted my life to be like and I always wanted to have a career and a nice job that I enjoyed doing. They always say you got your one chance to live, so boy, live happy. That's what I'm trying to do, whether it's going to the hospital every week or not going at all. They say I just let God guide me. If he obviously wants me to be well, then I definitely will be healthy by the time I'm older. I would absolutely love to have my own home, a home where I could live for hopefully a long, long time, have a family there, so I'm, I'm creating a, an, an atmosphere for my own family um, where they're not constantly moving about and bright future, which is what I'm really, really hoping to have.